welcome back guys to the channel code of tech and today i am going to uh, show you how to connect and set up games or x2 uh, and use it with your smartphone first uh, you need to get your controller obviously this is a type c gaming controller so make sure that you have a type c port on your phone To use the controller you will need to download the Capsar app from play store so download and install the app uh, you will need it to be able to use the gamepad and one thing to note here is that uh, some games support uh, controller natively and some don't so for example game, games like Brawlhalla comes with joystick support so you won't need the games or software but games like Call of Duty, Pokemon Unite don't support controller so in those, for those games you will need to use the games or app so let's first start with the setup process once you have downloaded the games or app you need to connect the controller with the smartphone Once you have downloaded and collected the controller, the default light will be the blue light. This is the normal mode. In this mode, um, you can play all the games that support gamepad natively. So now let's open the app. It will now ask some permissions and you need to grant these permission to be able to continue. As you can see a pop-up has come up and it has detected my gamepad. Yes. Right. By default it is showing the two apps here that I have installed Aether X2 which is a PlayStation 2 emulator and Pokemon Unite app. But uh, I have many other games installed as well. So I can manually add them um, by pressing this option. So now I can select all the games that I have installed like Plant vs Zombies, this snake game But I don't think that it will work with the gamepad So I will select some other games like Brawlhalla, Bullet Echo, Hungry Shark and so on Tap on done when you are done selecting all your games As you can, as you can see all the games have been added here So first I will start with the game that doesn't require any configuration for Lala. it supports gamepad natively so i won't have to do any extra settings so it as it says launch in g-touch mode so g-touch mode is is supposed to be used when the game doesn't support uh, gamepad but Brawlhalla supports it, so I will have to launch it in HID mode. So for that, I will tap on in more launch ways, and I will select launch in HID mode. You know, I'm uh, sorry for the bad recording as I am recording it with one hand and playing with one hand with one hand so as you can see it has detected uh, my gamepad uh, it's showing the A button see, as you can see A button I will show you Let's just close these pop-ups first As you can see the uh, D-pad is working and So is the joystick Yes, so I will be playing with the one hand so I will be getting beat up yes <laughs> so as you can see game works because it supports gamepad natively so let's move on to the game that doesn't support gamepad 
and you will have to configure the uh, configure it yourself so let's let's select the easiest one which is the hungry shark because it doesn't support gamepad and uh, uh, it will be easy for me to demonstrate because with one hand so i will have to launch it in g touch mode because this game doesn't support gamepad so call games like call of duty pokemon unite should be launched in this one but it won't work because i will now have to change the game pad mode right now it's in hardware mode to change it i will have to press the home plus g button and as soon as i will do it successfully uh, app will restart and blue color light will change into cyan color all whenever you will be playing a game that doesn't support gamepad natively you will have to change the gamepad mode see the color has now turned from blue to cam so now i will be able to launch the app in g touch mode it will ask for another one more permission which is to draw over other apps to enable floating window so give the app that permission and it should start without any issues launch in gtouch mode let's just i will show you the game control first so you get an idea so uh, from the left hand side will be at the left hand side is a uh, you know simple stick to control the movement of the shark and at the right hand side uh, tap gesture will boost the shark so let's just show you first so i can control the shark with a um, joystick on screen gesture so to add a button tap on the joystick button in the corner a pop up menu will come up which will allow you to add buttons let's show you it again tap on this uh, gamepad icon tap on this l stick left hand left hand stick option and it should add the stick but it didn't so let's try again this time it has added so place it anywhere you want I, but i will place here you can also resize it Press on setting. You can adjust the sensitivity. Sensitivity change it into the sliding mode, and so on. And press OK. Joystick mode. Let's just test it. It goes and save the configuration. Uh, allow. And as you can see, I'm able to control the shark. So now I will add another button for the boost. Tap on add button. A pop-up screen will come up. Then select the button option from here. Now select which button you want. So I will press A. So a, a button has come up here. I will place it on the right side of the screen. We are you all? There are also various options available here as well. Depending on the game, like depending on the game, you will have to select it. So, if you are use playing any game like Pokemon Unite, in which you are casting spells, and you also need to take care of the direction, then you will select different mode. Save. So, let's just save it, and yes, the game work. Uh, unfortunately, I am not able to record uh, right now because I am I have only one hand free, but I will up. Upload a separate screen recording if you want me to upload the full in-depth tutorial of any particular game, whether it's a movie, shark, Call of Duty. Uh, you can leave your question or request for tutorial or feedback in the comment below. And make sure you also subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching.